Hi, welcome to this part, a new part which covers Certified Developer Associate real certification questions. Today we will cover questions related to these topics. This is the part 12. Please refer parts 1 to 11 for previous questions. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and keep getting notified about such informative contents. This channel is totally dedicated to help you clear Azure, GCP and AWS cloud certifications. Let's jump into the questions. This one, see you have an S3 bucket and you are storing your documents there. These are your documents, okay? And you want to encrypt it because you want to make these secured. So you want to encrypt at rest. But, but the encryption keys, you should be able to cycle it on an annual basis. That means the first year, 2019, you had one key. 2020, it got recycled and a new key was generated, is being used. And this has to happen every year. Let's look at the option. We are looking at the simplest method. These are the four options. The first one says encrypt that data before you send to S3. So before you're sending, like this data is coming here, you encrypt it here itself. Yes, boss, that is fine. But how will you rotate the keys? How will you do that? How will you recycle it? This is wrong. Just because you are encrypting it before you send to S3 does not mean that it will get recycled or rotated. This option does not say anything about rotation. It does not address the problem. Hence, it is wrong. B says import a custom key so, so that you have your own key. You import it. What does import means? If you are in India, you are importing a car. That means it comes from a different country to India. Similarly, you are saying you have KMS systems and KMS has its own feature to generate keys, but you will be very innovative. You want to waste your time and you will import a custom key from outside. Okay, You already have a car, but you think, no, no, no. Uh, I will still import the same car from outside. And while importing, you will set the annual rotation on. Remember, you have an option to import the keys if you want, but you do not have an option to set the annual rotation on the key. You can only set expiry. You can only set expiry. Remember this, You when you are importing, you cannot set rotation. You cannot set rotation. You can only set expiry. Okay, till now. So B is wrong. Now C says use KMS. Fantastic. KMS has a mechanism to generate keys. Perfect. And it can also do automatic rotation. See, you can enable automatic rotation for the KMS key. And what it does by rotation, it will generate a new cryptographic material for the KMS key every year, every year. You see in your question, yearly, yearly. So this is perfect. Hence, this would be my answer. But let's also look at D. It says export a key from KMS to encrypt the data. That means you, you have KMS, you will, the KMS can hold the key. Okay. But since we are so stupid that we will take that key out and then send it to S3 and God knows what to do there. What will you do that, with that key? So D is a stupid option. I hate to use this word, uh, but I would say in the exam, you will always get uh, options. At least one of them will be damn stupid beyond uh, common sense. It defies common sense. This is my answer. See, you can import the key material. Okay, you cannot import the keys. You can import the key material. You can create keys with key material that you have been you have imported. So this is your key and this is your material like just like you see this tooth this is your material that comes like from outside in the digital world it is 0101 etc but that is your material that you can import it but this key will be created in aws kms like i told you can set the expiration time for the key material but there is no option no option to rotate this let's look at the next question this one pause it read it carefully a single line question see you are into a business who creates APIs as a service and people use your API as a service, okay? And you have an SLA and your organization needs to ensure that everybody is in compliance with each SLA defined. There are four options. See, whenever you think about delivering API as a service, okay, and SLAs, always think about two things, throttling limits and 
quotas total and quotas do you see quota anywhere no there is no quota but someone might say that uh, isn't usage plan a quota see we are talking about quota on the api side this option is talking about usage plan for each user defining at each user level usage plan is not similar to quota so i will strike out this option b is wrong now enabling rate limiting in we does a question talk about using cognitive does the question talk about it then why are we even considering option which has cognitive i can talk about rate limiting and etc but see don't waste your time does the question talk about cognitive no does the question talk about iam no forget about it just move ahead c is wrong now we have to choose between a and d a says use throttling limit enable throttling limits for each method and d says enable throttling limits for each stage now what to do see so i will clear your concept you can apply throttling limits like there are only four types either you can do throttling limits are applied at all accounts or per account or per api that is per stage so this is our answer you see this stage per stage we got it in the documentation hooray this is my answer so a is wrong because i could not spot method i could only spot stage but then you might say what about the fourth one in the documentation the fourth one says per client throttling limits for each client it still does not say method that's why we caught our answer a is wrong this is my final answer i have shown you the documentation around throttling limits for each stage this is the para pause this video please read this carefully it just saved your time to go through tons of documentation please subscribe and like my videos let's look at the next question see in this question there are three actors s3 gateway and lambda three actors who's the villain the villain is you are getting an error message and this is the error that you are getting so whenever uh, you think you are not able to answer certain questions is new try to apply common sense for example in this case you see the word origin i will choose options which has the word origin here so straight away i cannot in c and d i could not spot origin c and d are wrong for me i would not even consider now i have two options a and b which one is the right one now if i try to again use some logic here see course we already know course is a feature of s3 bucket as well as api gateway now what happens with s3 bucket if you have static websites in multiple s3 buckets this is one and this is two and then if you have not enabled course like you have a website which is reading from this bucket as well as this bucket but you have not enabled course on s3 then you might get an error okay but it will not be this error see in this case if you read the question it is pretty evident the problem is not at the bucket level the problem is not here the problem has to be around the gateway because you are getting an error access control the header is uh, the problem is with the header you are getting this in the header so it has to be with the some method and the method is a part of api gateway that's why this would be my answer and a would be wrong so you should set you should understand whether you have to enable course or not in this case if you are not enabling course that's why you are getting that error so cross edge origin http request there are two types just as an information simple and non simple so you are getting that error because the api is trying to perform any get or post request in this case there are some get or put request which for which you don't have access and that is the error you are getting so you have to enable course there so this would be my answer here is a quick documentation on what is access control request method see this method what happens is the browsers they send it to the server pre flight that is a pre flight request as an intimation that you know we would be sending you request around these methods for example you have a birthday party okay and you have booked an auditorium or a hall so they do ask you 
like what is the count of people that will come and do you have any vip guests that needs special entertainment or it has to be catered in a special manner it's the same thing you are sending in advance guys i will have 500 people coming in for this birthday party and out of that five would be special guests so so that so in this case also the same thing is happening the browser is already sending a pre flight that means in advance they are sending that request in advance stating that boss this is the method that i will be using to interact with you okay enough of talking this is my final answer please hit the subscribe and the like button it takes a lot of effort to produce this analysis every attempt is made to make this as accurate as possible please do not forget to visit the previous videos for aws certified developer associate these are all real certification questions focus on the concepts and the techniques used to answer the questions see you in the next part before that let me summarize what we covered in this part ciao for now